Hey guys, this video is to help you guys get back in the game and playing. Those of you playing on uh, playing Battlefield 4 PC and you are you get into the game, get into a room, and uh, you get kicked out after only a few seconds, and you find an error message on the bottom in the red box that says, uh, Punk Buster, uh, you were kicked for zero seconds. Um, Punk Buster couldn't communicate with uh, Punk Buster A or Punk Buster B, something like that. It's a communication error. Uh, this is a fix for that that uh, kicking problem, not any other ban or uh, other kicking issue. So if it's saying uh, uh, Punk Buster couldn't communicate with Punk Buster A or something like that, this is to fix that issue. Uh, if you've tried the other things and they haven't worked. Um, I tried everything else, every other fix, nothing worked until I tried this one and I had no problem. So I'm going to show you exactly what to do. Uh, first, find your Battlefield 4 folder. Uh, wherever you install Battlefield 4 on your PC, go find that uh, Battlefield 4 folder. Open it up, go to the installer folder in that, click it, and Punk Buster, and Redist. Here you'll find the uh, Punk Buster uh, service, whatever this is called. Uh, this is the thing that if you go to the forums, they tell you they send you to the website and say go download this uh, thing and run it. It's already in your, if you got Battlefield 4, it's already, it should already be in your folder. So we're going to click on this. And this is going to reinstall uh, Punk Buster. It's real fast. Uh, make sure you got the install, reinstall Punk Buster service. Click Next. Agree. And let it run through its little uh, check here. Next. Now it's kind of, it's doing like a test right here. And it should show an error. Here we go. This is uh, checking firewall settings for Punk Buster A and B. It's getting a no, so it's not it's not communicating back to the uh, server. So that's why you're getting kicked. Okay, so we're uh, gonna close that out. And that like reinstalled Punk Buster. So I'm gonna show you what you're gonna have to do now. Now we're gonna go to your Windows firewall settings. Uh, control panel, Windows Firewall. Go to your advanced settings. Your, depending on what operating system you're running, it may look different, but it should be the basic same uh, tree here. So advanced settings. We're going to go to inbound rules. Uh, we're not going to need to mess with the outbound rules, just the inbound rules. Click on that. And search for uh, Punk Buster. Scroll down. I put it in alph uh, alphabetical order here. Okay, there it is. You got. You should have a Punk Buster A and a Punk Buster B. Now you'll notice I have two A's and two B's. You might even have three, four, or five A's and B's, depending on how many times you ran that Punk Buster service. So each time you run that, it's going to put a new directory in here for A and B. Uh, you only need one of each. So just get in here and delete the A's and B's until you've just got one left. Doesn't matter which ones, as long as you leave an A and B left. If you don't, it might not work. Okay, so I got an A and B. Now you're going to double click on A. Uh, go to this Programs and Services tab. And you notice this it defaults for this program. You don't want that. You want to click this right here, All Programs that Meet the Specified Conditions. So check that box for A and click OK. We're going to do the same thing for B. Okay. And that should do it. That's all it took for me. I did that. Went back to the game and tried playing. It let me play. It didn't kick me no more. No problems. Um, on Battlefield 3, I didn't know about this. I tried every other fix, even running that uh, reinstalling Punk Buster, uninstalling, reinstalling the game. And it, it, it was still hard for me to get back in the game. So try that. If that works, uh, Post in the comments, just say, uh, it, just post that it worked or something. If you have questions, um, I don't really know what else I can help you with on here that I didn't talk about in the video. Uh, I would suggest going to the uh, uh, Battle Log, uh, Battlefield 4 forums and ask it in there because there's a lot of people having issues. They might have some other fixes for you. Um, I can't, uh, YouTube, you might notice they screwed up YouTube again. So now, if you guys post a comment under one of my videos, there's no option for me to reply to comment anymore. And I guess uh, uh, 
uh, YouTube thought this was a, a brilliant idea, so they implemented it. So now I can't communicate with you guys anymore, unless I guess you guys got to have a, a a freaking Google Plus account now. Or uh, the only thing I think of, if you guys got a question, like on one of my uh, trainers or tutorials or something like that, and you need to communicate with me or ask a question, I suggest uh, uh, one of two things: you can ask in the comment section under the video, and I'll reply in the as a new comment I'll just use you know the at uh, symbol at in your name and then I'll uh, type some kind of reply so if you got a question uh, post it there and you'll just have to come back uh, you know in a day or two and see if I posted something in there to answer your question or if it's uh, really important you really need help uh, uh, feel free to go to my channel and send me a private message otherwise I'm not gonna know you guys are uh, asking questions because YouTube screwed everything up so uh, yeah, send me a PM if you got a question, and I'll, I'll I'll answer you that way. I try to answer everybody's questions. All right, guys, good luck with that. Let me know if it worked for you.